Welcome students. Happy St. Patrick's Day, two or four or whatever many days ago since you're watching this. Pinch. I'm not that right. Really <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so this is the translations video. Welcome. You should have already watched the constructions video and taken notes on that. This video, make sure you're taking notes because those notes are going to be graded and they're going to go in there. I kind of feel kind of self-conscious because the camera's like facing up. It's I know. How is our angle? Like double chin. Yeah, do I mean, we look okay? Yeah. I don't know. Um, so make sure you're taking notes. And this video is going to help with the homework 10B. Mm -hmm. And after this video, make sure you're posting to the discussion board either about this one or the construction video. So let's get started. Let's work. Yeah. Okay, I'll start. Um, so I have a question for you guys. We in this unit are going to be talking about rigid motion transformations. First off, what's a, transform a transformation? Transformers. Transformers. Transformers, right? Okay, transformers. Do you guys even know what transformers are? You're just little youngins. Anyways, if you don't, they're car robots and they're awesome. Yep. Um. So okay, transformations. Transformers. So Miss Crab, you said transformers. But like, how the heck is that going to relate to our math class? Well, I think transformers, when I think of transforming, it's kind of like you said, robots changing into cars or airplanes or helicopters or whatever they want to change into. So I'm guessing it has something to do with change. It's going to change some kind of, change something. Exactly. Yeah. I love that. We're going to change something. Hmm. Okay. Change formations. Do you have any idea what, like, form Formations. Yeah, me. I got this okay. dance okay. class. Formation. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's with it. She's with it. So, Miss Graf, as much as I love your dance moves and talking yeah. about transformers, mm -hmm. how like transformations? How the heck is that going to relate to math? Well, formations. Like when I was a nerd in marching band, we talked about formation, marching in formation, making these shapes. So I feel like it has something to do with shapes. I love it. Shapes. Those different forms. And we said, you know, trans was kind of like to change, right? To change. Okay, you guys watching from home. Transformations. We're going to be changing shapes. Awesome. Okay, so we have transformations taken care of. What about rigid motion? What, like, what do you think when you think of rigid motion? Any, any thoughts? Ooh. Rigid. Well, motion is easy. Motion is just movement, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, we're moving. We're moving. Yeah. But okay. what, like, how do we move rigidly? I kind of think of the robot dance. Oh, yeah. Everyone with me? Robot. We're moving stiff. Like it. I like so, it. So, guys, in your notes, let's define this right now. A rigid motion transformation. So, we're changing. Changing a figure. Or a shape, right? We're changing that figure or shape, but rigidly. So when we think of changing a shape, you know, and we're staying rigid, I have a question. Is our shape going to change size at all? Is it going to grow or shrink? Is it, you know, are the side lengths going to get bigger? Are they going to get smaller? Are the angles going to change? We're staying pretty rigid, right? Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I think... I don't think so, because rigid, it's like stern, it's the same, you know? It's like if you're right here and I move you right here, you're not changing shape, you're not growing anymore. Are so you sure I didn't lose like five pounds? Maybe, like, maybe that's a little bit. exercise. Yeah, maybe a little bit. That's, but, all, that's all the exercise I've done all week. But it's so. like a rigid change, you know? Exactly, so that's exactly right. So rigid motion transformations. We're changing a figure, we're changing that shape, but we are not, so without changing, Without changing side lengths or angles. Angles. So guys, we're about to get started in our first rigid motion transformation. Make sure you have this definition in your notes and we'll get started. Just gotta run and grab Just, the camera. Okay, onwards. We're gonna move over to this awesome grid. So, question, how do we move the triangle onto the other triangle? How do we move the triangle onto the other triangle? Yeah. Um, well, I'm thinking we go over, I don't even know. Do you mind if I come up there and count? Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's think about this. I don't know, we like move this one, I'll move it like at this point. 
I moved it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm saying we're gonna go to the right eight, I guess. We're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, we move right. Wrong! Ah, what? Okay. How did you, how, how come you assumed it was that triangle? I, I just know. said move the triangle into another triangle. Guys, I don't know. We read from left to right. It just feels natural. Shouldn't this be our start? I don't know. I I'm think we this triangle onto that triangle. I think we're gonna need to define some things here. Okay. Yeah, I need your help. Okay. I need your wisdom. So fancy. You guys notice we're using a smart board? Kind of crazy, right? Doc Burton's class. You guys know smart boards in that classroom kind of are a bit iffy. But anyways, when we're trying to figure out which triangle moves where, first we need to know which triangle we're moving. So when we're talking about an image compared to another image, there's two words that we use. One is the pre-image. So make sure you're writing this in your notes. We'll write it on the board in a little bit, but we're talking about a pre-image. The pre-image comes before the image. So that's what we start with. So I'm leaving this triangle is our pre uh, oh sad life this triangle is our pre-image and this triangle is our image so pre-image and you just chose which one is the pre-image right an image yes but there's also a way to kind of see if you're just given labels but my triangles aren't labeled. How can how should I label them, Miss Miller? Mm. What what do you want to call this point? Let's call it A. Why not? Okay. And this point? Uh, B. And C. Perfect. Now, if I'm going to change my first image, because we're talking about transformations, to be over here, how should I label this image now? Hmm. Maybe. Adding that little tick, that little dash thing, you know what yeah, I'm talking about? Yeah, like the little apostrophe mark. Yeah, yeah. little apostrophe mark. So we're going to make it prime. Because when you're making something prime, it's better. It's 2.0. You're in your prime. Yes, did anyone catch the uh, pun? Optimus Prime. Transformers. Uh, uh, oh, so good. Oh, man. So good. Okay. So what would we call this point? Um, A prime. And this one? B prime. And this one? C prime. C prime. Okay, so if I wanted to move it again, 